create receipt in account receivables and match it to the AR invoice. So basically you issue a receipt to the customer once the customer has uh, paid your invoice. So there is a way to create the receipt against the invoice. So I'm going to show you how that can be done. Alright, so this is our invoice. I'm going to copy the invoice number. 102390 and you see the amount paid is 1748 so the full amount is paid by the customer so I'm going to come out of this and then I'm going to go to the navigator and then under receivables I'm going to go to account receivables and within account receivables I'm going to go to the task menu and from here I'm going to create a receipt and then here you see the receipt type is you can select standard or miscellaneous so I'm gonna leave it as standard I'm gonna choose the business unit as US 1 business unit this one and then I'm gonna choose the receipt method so this is what we chose at the invoice level and you can give a receipt number over here if you like something like this any number okay and then I uh, enter an amount 1748 US dollar and you see the other date you can leave it as defaulted and the remittance bank details has uh, come up automatically from your receipt the other details that you have chosen and here is the customer details over here but uh, before giving all those details you can directly go to add open receivables and um, this is a place wherein you can search the transaction so you can say something like uh, the customer name which was uh, computer starting with something like computer I think computer service and rentals so let it uh, okay there you go so select the customer hit the OK button and um, then you can hit the search button so it's going to pull up all the transactions pertaining to this customer so look for your transaction or alternatively you can search the transaction again using this particular window by giving further search criteria so I'm going to quickly check if I could find it okay there are many many transactions so I'm gonna filter it further to say it is an invoice I'm going to search again and these are the invoices that has uh, been filtered still there are many many so you can do a further search based on the transaction due date so let's say starting from this to this and then hit the search button hmm, so it's not pulling up if I say match by sales order so 
have just reset it. I say match by sales order number and then give the sales order number here. Okay, there you go. You see, maybe we were giving some incorrect filter criteria, hence it was not pulling up. So I'm going to simply add this invoice. Okay, once you've added it, then you hit the done button. And as you could see, this uh, particular transaction has been added automatically and here is a transaction reference number which is nothing but the invoice number and all the other details have been pulled automatically can you see that customer account number customer name the tax ID site number and so on okay and then I'm gonna hit the submit button you can say submit and apply manually if you like are happy with this information is the receipt details and since we have done something like uh, apply it manually it is giving us this option so we will do it once again make sure we select the transaction you see there was other option to uh, submit and apply automatically but we chose the manual option hence we came back to the screen okay and the supply it amount is the whole amount we gave there and if you have given more than this amount then you could have potentially applied the receipt amount to multiple transactions as long as uh, the entire amount of those multiple transactions are greater uh, or less than or equal to your receipt header amount so once you're done with that you simply hit the, the save button so the by this you see what has hap what will happen is the receipt will be saved and applied to the invoice okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to account in draft so this will basically create the receipt accounting you see you can view the accounting as well so receipt created and this is cash versus receivables and you can view the T accounts if you wish by clicking on the button view t accounts right something like this hit the done button then hit the done button again and um, at this time you can simply post to channel ledger okay so this part is complete okay then you've got to basically run the GL import program and then post it under journal ledger okay so I'm gonna simply save and close now so that's the way under which you apply an invoice to a receipt and hopefully now the invoice uh, due balance will be zero mm -hmm.